So you thought you smelt exhaust? Then the next time you didn't smell exhaust, you asked someone in your car, do you smell that? I don't think I smell it this time. You're not losing your mind. Try putting it just on defrost only so that the heat or the air goes to your face. And if you only smell it on defrost, that's the beginning of solving this mystery. So let's get into it. So now that you have your car jacked up safely, you want to start, I like to start from the easiest. I'm going to go from the muffler and work my way towards the engine where the metal shields are that kind of like hide the obvious. Here I can see the pipe, everything's solid. I do have a seam that's broken, that's going to leak. I do have another little leak here at where the two pipes meet, the spring bolted with a gasket, it's rotted on the top, that's going to leak solid all the way here and I have a weld. Someone's welded this at one point. They put a little piece in. A weld isn't the greatest. Not going to knock everybody, but there's a lot of air pockets in there and you can see it. That'll leak. And while I'm looking, I'm also looking on the vehicle. I want to make sure the car is not rotted. The body plugs are in. Check your rocker panels, your pinch welds, your fender wells. Check everything and make sure even if there's a little surface rust that doesn't go into the car. That's also usually a state issue for safety if your state has it but that will also make the exhaust fumes go inside. But this particular problem is when only the defrost is on. So I'm aiming up here, but once again, even though I have the little lady hands, I don't wanna put my hands up in there and get hot, burn myself. So I got a little trick that if you've seen the past, I show you how to do something with a home object to check for leaks. And we're gonna do it again. Let's go for it. All right, so now we're gonna take our household shop vac or a vacuum cleaner if you have a hose that's long enough and has the output instead of a vacuum and I'm going to put the longest nozzle I can right in there I'm just going to tape this up with some heavy duty tape we'll just close it up to make sure the air doesn't come out I just want to basically seal up that tailpipe so it doesn't come out looks like I'm at the end of my roll here but it's perfect there we go. All right, so now that we have our hose in the tailpipe taped up, I'm gonna take the hose off of the vacuum. On that, the vacuum side, that's the suction side. Spin it around. And I'm gonna put it right here on the outside. It pushes the air out. All right, so now that we have our vacuum hooked up, we're gonna spray this with soapy water. I put it in a spray bottle. Get yourself a little handy dandy spray bottle. And we're gonna turn the vacuum on. It's gonna push the air through instead of vacuum, and let's find these leaks. Well, that's an obvious leak. Even though we had the soot there, we knew that. But you're not gonna smell that on the defrost, but that has to be taken care of. We will replace that. But let's go see if that weld up front is leaking. Okay, nothing there at the weld, nothing obvious. Now I'm gonna to go to that front pipe. We're gonna look for the front pipe and under the shield where you can't get your hand. Look at that air come out from that shield. Now I'm not getting any bubbles. That's because the shield is probably compressing that air, but you can see the water clearly being blown away. And this car is not running. That's a pretty good size leak. There's the small bubbles. So that's under a shield. I couldn't even hear that nor feel it with my hand. So let's do the other side. We know we have to replace it, but I'm going to go on the other side just for the heck of it. Nothing. So we definitely have a front converter pipe leaking right under that shield. So now that we finally got to identify the major leak up front here on this converter pipe, that's why you can smell it coming up right underneath that vent only on defrost. That's a key little note there, but we're going to replace the whole thing. And I got it right here from 1aauto.com. So we're going to install it, double check the system, and we're going to replace the ends with some new stuff so we don't have those little leaks either. Uh, let's get into it. So we have the old one we just took down, 
and the new one that we're going to replace from 1A Auto that we got it from. And already I can tell you that this one, it is an aftermarket, it's not factory, um, but they had shields on it for some reason. And these are not cut. Like when I first was taking it down, I'm like, oh, somebody cut the shields. No, this is the way it came. Like two welded, three welded shields. I don't understand. Maybe they thought these were weak points for hotness or that's facing the, it's facing down. So maybe they don't want you parking on a field, but it caused a weakness right here. Anytime you weld on stainless steel or you're going to have a weakness. And right there is the weakness. Now, I'm going to show you with a flashlight. I'm going to put the light through here. And you can see all the little lights shining and dancing through. It just broke way before its time. The converter's still good. We don't have any uh, cat efficiency codes or anything, but we have to replace it because that's leaking right there. So I'm under the hood because I wanted to kind of show you a little bit of what I mean by defrost and where the fresh air comes from. So you ever notice one of these lovely things on the front of your car, like where the hood meets? the glass. This is where the fresh air comes in from outside. It comes in and it mixes in with the heat and it blows into the cab. This is the defrost right here on top, right in your face. So from here you can see that the exhaust manifold is right there and when that has a leak in it or the front pipe that it connects to, it's going to come up in here and bellow right into the cab and go right through that fresh air vent. Alright, so now that we know why we can smell the defrost because of the leak right here, let's raise it up and fix it and get this thing going down the road. So that was a nice and easy pot to install thanks to 1AAuto.com. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell because then it turns on all your notifications and you won't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching. Did have it today. Pay attention to your heat distributor. Distributor. Anyway. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and remit. Oh. I can do that all over again.